Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. The three charged after allegedly torturing and killing a Las Vegas man for hours appear in court today. Heather Pate, her boyfriend Kevin Dent, and former boyfriend Brad Main are accused of kidnapping, torturing, and killing Roy Jagers in a remote area near Pahrump. His body was found in Cathedral Canyon in August. The preliminary hearing was pushed back for about a month after the defense attorneys argued that they didn't receive enough evidence from the state in time to properly prepare for the hearing. Jagger's mother could be seen quietly crying in court today. She previously told us her son would not hurt anyone. According to the sheriff's office, the suspects thought Jagger's had hurt Pate's child, committed pedophilia, and wanted revenge. Now to the latest on California's Caldor Fire. Fire crews say they've been able to slow its pace toward Nevada thanks to reduced winds. We have new video showing the charred remains, more than 600 structures destroyed. Thankfully, fire crews from Nevada have arrived to help. To come from Clark County Fire Department, City of Las Vegas Fire Department, North Las Vegas Fire Department, take our operations, our equipment, and bring them up here and to integrate into their dispatching, their communications, and their operations is, uh, is a large task. This is the first time that, that uh, I've ever done this in, in 23 years. Sections of Douglas County on Nevada's side remain under mandatory evacuation. If you drive through the area, the air remains smoky, almost no one around, and many areas closed off. The blaze has grown to around 210,000 acres, but containment is up to 25%. Now let's get to your weather here in the Las Vegas Valley, sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, one hour is here for you. On this Thursday night, we're cooling down to the 80s, then 70s overnight. Tomorrow, we're looking at sunny skies with a high of 100 degrees. Then lows should be nice and pleasant at around 75 degrees. Then things start to slightly warm up over the weekend and into next week, with the temps peaking on Monday and Tuesday. In Lifestyle, sponsored by Oakmont of Las Vegas, Assisted Living and Memory Care. The best care for the best life. A small chunk of Raider season ticket holders want refunds. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer explains why. Renee? Jen, the Raiders made just over 1,800 tickets available Wednesday after they were returned to the team by fans who do not want to get vaccinated. And out of those, 250 requested a refund, with the remainder opting to roll over their season ticket fees to next year. Under the Raider Stadium policy, fully vaccinated fans will be allowed to go maskless inside, while those who are partially vaccinated will be allowed but must wear a mask. They were, they were resold at the same price that of the original price with a 7% fee. Um, they, I was told they sold out within an hour. Mark Davis, Raiders owner, said he was, you know, pretty expected that that number would fall around the 1800 um, ticket range. You know, he, he had no hard feelings with them. He said, hey, they have their own personal feelings and preferences. And if they didn't want to get vaccinated, hey, he, he was all for their personal choice. Fans can also get vaccinated on site and will be allowed to attend the games wearing a mask. Jen. Sports Update, brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Get a bonus of up to $500 when you sign up. It's been an interesting day here in Henderson where the Raiders could acquire linebacker K.J. Wright. Though there is no contract formally signed yet, and head coach John Gruden didn't have much to say about it here on the podium, he did speak to the strength of the existing linebacker core. Nick and Javin are hurt, so that's, you know, it's a moot point really. They're not going to be ready to go for the opener. When they're ready, I don't know. Getting Denzel Perryman was big. He's a middle linebacker that gives us some playing experience and system intelligence. And, you know, we'll see what happens with Wright. But uh, Kwiatkowski practiced today. It's good to have him back for the first time in three weeks. And we still like Corey Littleton. We've got a couple young guys that need, need time. But uh, that's where we are. 
Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Pro sports better Mark DeRosa has won $1 million the past two years, wagering on NFL player props and futures. He won more than $300,000 on Lamar Jackson to win 2019 NFL MVP and more than half a million more on Tom Brady's 2020 team to beat Tampa Bay and on the Buccaneers to win the NFC and Super Bowl. He's banking on big years from Saints quarterback Jameis Winston and Patriots running back Damian Harris. For more details, read Todd Dewey's column at LVRJ.com. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. Downtown Summerlin announces several new stores and restaurants opening at its outdoor shopping center. We have the full list of new retailers for you, which includes Anthropology, Free People, and Beer Zombies. In the coming months, Urban Outfitters is set to open there as well. And over on the Strip, you may have noticed a missing sign at the Sands Expo and Convention Center. That's because it will be renamed to the Venetian Expo. Las Vegas Sands Corporation is preparing to transition the Venetian, the Palazzo, and the Venetian Expo to their new owners, Apollo Global Management and Vici Properties Incorporated, later this year. The Review Journal is owned by the family of Dr. Miriam Adelson, the majority shareholder of Las Vegas Sands Corporation. In Health, sponsored by 4M Dental, love your smile again. Health officials say mosquitoes collected in Henderson have tested positive for the West Nile virus. Southern Nevada Health District is encouraging folks to fight the bite by eliminating standing water and using insect repellent. And Governor Steve Sisolak signs an emergency directive today in which those fully vaccinated against COVID don't have to wear masks at conventions. Many, including the G2E Las Vegas and the National Association of Broadcasters, already require proof of vaccination to attend. In entertainment, sponsored by DiscoverNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. As Las Vegas' weather cools down, a slew of music festivals are set to come back this month. For those of you starving for some live music, check out this long list of festivals coming up in September, including Life is Beautiful, headlined by Billie Eilish. And this guy from Mexico just became $920,000 richer after hitting a straight flush to win a progressive jackpot at Planet Hollywood. According to Caesars Entertainment, he plans to use the money on investing, setting some aside for education, supporting his family, and splurging on a luxury apartment. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here for more 7 at 7 tomorrow. Good night. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.